Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about Rothko painting of FricoCam responsive web design projects. So basically in this project we're going to build something like this. This is the preview that we're going to do, okay? And we're going to learn a lot how to work with CSS and the box model that will be pretty interesting for us when we are working with uh, positioning things. And basically box model is one of the most used ones. All right, so let's just start. So, like I always mention in every video about free code camp, if you didn't watch the previous videos or if you didn't do the previous projects, please go back and do them again, okay? Actually, for the first time, because basically the free code camp is kind of adding one block of content above the other. So, you need to know the previous knowledge to start learning new things in this project, okay? We have all the projects for this path, so you can take a look at our channel or you can do it by yourself in the free code camp okay so like we already mentioned basically that the every time we're creating a new page using HTML we have to tell our browser what will be the type of file we're gonna build this page okay so we're gonna start adding the doc type HTML and we're saying for Google Chrome Microsoft Edge any browser you're using which type of file we're gonna build then we need HTML and we can set that the language will be English okay then every HTML file we have of the head okay so the head is everything that is not visual so every link we're gonna be do with other with CSS or JavaScript in the future and the body is everything that is visual so everything we're gonna see in our pages in the body and finally we need to end our HTML tag okay and that's pretty much what we need now in the head we're gonna start we're gonna use the meta tag to tell that uh, the UTF it's H so basically here char set equals to UTF H and we're gonna add an image and also we're gonna add a title sorry for our project basically this title is the title of the tab so the title that appears in here all right not necessarily the, the title will appear in here the title tag is the title of the tab okay and we want to say Roco painting painting all right and here we close the title then in the body we want to add an image so an image we use the IMG tag and if we want to add the link address for the image we need the source attribute so we have here src okay and we paste in here and now we can see this image that we're seeing right now okay now let's continue basically in a css box model we can treat everything like a box so this is our box basically and they kind of gonna tell us basically we can work with this box in order to manipulate to position things in our page okay so now they want us to change diagram two to diagram diagram one to diagram two and that's pretty much what we need to do I think then we're gonna see that the content is surrounded by a space calling padding so basically the content here is this part in blue and we have the height and the width of this we have one space here that is this padding okay this thing in green then this thing in yellow let me see if I can show you sorry this thing in green is the padding and now we're gonna change for number three and we're gonna see that we have the padding that this is in green this is space then we have the border that is everything here in in yellow and in orange is the margin okay so the padding is like a bubble that wraps separates an item from the box around it now let's change for the number three and it's pretty good because we're gonna learn some things while we read in here the margin is the outside area of the box so depending on the case you're gonna use margin or padding so always be aware if you want to create a space inside the box so if you want to create a space inside the box you use padding or if it's outside the box the div you're working it will be a margin okay and now we're gonna remove this img this was just to make us understand what is the big difference between padding and margin now we're gonna add 
a div and we're gonna give a class canvas canvas okay and then we're gonna close the div right now we're not gonna see anything but inside this div it's gonna be everything we're gonna build that things we saw before now we're gonna create uh we're gonna start styling our div with css so we need to add here do you see we are in the head we're gonna add a link to our css file so basically we have to use the word link and we're gonna see rel equals to style sheet and then the href we're gonna say what is the name of the file we're gonna get the style so in this case we're gonna say styles.css okay we don't have the bio right now but now we have in here okay then we're gonna work with changing the width of our card in our case it's not card the name of the div we gave is ca canvas so now we're gonna add a width for our canvas and it will be a width of 500 pixels and like i said we cannot see but if i put here a background color of uh yellow for example and here a width i'm not sure if they're gonna show us and if I put here high, for example, I just want to show you what is going on. So this is the width, okay? The width we're going to set if we want this to be the amount we want. If I put here 300 pixels, it will be smaller. If I put here 1000, it will be a, a huge amount in here. In our case, we want 500, okay? Let me remove here the high and the yellow let's go to the next part now we're gonna add the height so the same thing is we can work with the width we can change the height so basically here we can say height 600 pixels okay and we're not able to see right now but in the field now we're gonna see so background color we're gonna have this background color hash for d0 f00 it will be kind of a dark and we can see here the width and the height okay the width and the height that we set we're gonna give a new div that will be uh we're gonna put this div canvas inside of a div called frame so here div class equals to frame and we're gonna close this div after the div canvas okay now we're gonna work with some border so we're gonna use a dot frame and we're gonna add a border here we want a border of 50 pixels let's see then we want this to be solid and black so let's see what do we get basically this is what we have right now we have this border okay this border here in black it has some uh, space and we set solid so it will be uh it will be completely painted basically now we're gonna change the width here for 500 pixels so it will be 500 pixels okay now we can see in here 500 pixels all right and now we're gonna add some padding in the frame so now we can use padding to check what is going on between the frame and the canvas so in here basically we're gonna work with the frame we're gonna add a padding of 50 pixels and let's see what happens the padding is creating a space between the frame and the box in here like we can see okay then we can set the margin to 20 pixels auto and we're gonna see what's going on so the margin will be outside the box the the margin the padding will be here inside the frame now we're gonna add a new element inside of our canva and we're gonna call the div class one so now we're gonna have a new div and we're gonna give a class one okay we won't see anything right now but now we're gonna work with this one so here dot one we're gonna add a width 425 pixels we can't see the height we're gonna add in here of 150 pixels we can't see anything so far but now we're gonna add a background call so now we will be able to see what we're doing and basically here we want to add the hash efb762 so now we have this is the div we are creating in here all right now we're gonna give a margin so here we're gonna say margin 20 pixels auto so we're gonna see here that now it kind of change here the margin right we're adding 20 pixels from the the limit in here and basically we're creating this space before it was starting in here now we have 20 pixels in the left and then we're starting our inner div. and we're gonna add a padding of one pixel and let's see what happens so now we have now a space in the top as well okay and if i put this in here we can kind of see that we are creating kind of something artistic
Now we're going to replace padding for overflow and we're going to set to hidden. So let's see, we're going to replace padding and we're going to do overflow and the property will be hidden and let's see what happens. So basically the hidden here, which changed the canvas back to the original dimension. So we're just changing here the dimensions. Now we're going to add another one that will be the, another div class equals to two, right? And here we're going to again set the width and the height. 70 pixels. We can't see the changes, but once we add the background color, it will appear the height of 200 pixels and we'll be right after this yellow part. So let's change here the background color to this hash 8 F0401. So like we can see here, it's in this part and now we're probably going to manipulate the padding and the margin. So margin auto. So now we kind of, it's in the middle, if you see. All right, we have the same spacing in all the sides and let's see the padding no we're gonna create a new div so div class equals to three great and now we're gonna give a width of 91 percent the good thing about the width 91 percent is that it will be responsive so depending on the size of your screen it will be 91 percent of the screen you're using so here we're gonna use a dot three width of 91% and right now we're not gonna see anything because we need to give a color but we can also set the same for the height we can say that we want to use a 28% of the height we have available in our screen and we're gonna see right now with the background color and we're gonna play around and we're gonna see in here so is this div in here in red if I expand it will change actually it won't change in this case because uh, we set already the size of the other one but basically instead of using numbers pixels we can use the percentage okay and we're gonna set the margin 0 to here to out it's really good to use percentage when you want to be responsive in this case it won't be responsive because we already set the width for the outer divs so basically the inner div it's kind of uh, can't do much things because it's a uh, it's in, in inside of the other divs now we're gonna change here the margin we're gonna set uh to zero zero auto and 20 pixels let's see so now we have this space in here this is good okay and now we're gonna work with blur so basically the blur will blur the image okay we can use filters that's really good so in our case you can say the filter is the property blur is the value and you can set a number of how much you want to blur things so here we want to blur the canvas so let me see where we are already inside canvas so we're just we need to say filter blur and we want to use two pixels and when we see now it's blurred this way then we want to do the same for the two right so create a rule that targets both one and two to increase the blur effect for one pixel so how can we use one and two both we can use dot one comma dot two and we can use here filter blur one pixel and this will increase the blur for one and two if i put here 10 i think it will be even a more we can even see better so basically when we say this one this way the name of the two selectors divide divided by a comma we're getting we want to change both of them and the last blur we want to give a filter blur of two pixels okay and now we're changing this third little div in here now we're gonna change those rectangles right so basically we're gonna increase the area of one and we're gonna use the box shadow if you don't remember the box shadow will create a, we saw this in the previous videos but basically the box shadow will create a shadow around the div around the box so it's pretty interesting we're gonna create some shadow around the div okay so here we can say box shadow and we just need to copy these properties so we're kind of setting how we want to increase the box shadow okay using this so we want zero in the top zero in the left something like this and we just want in two sides of our div to have a box shadow and we're gonna do the same for the two so here box shadow here we're gonna use the same box oops i don't know what i did here box shadow we want to use the same but we want to change the color to 8 f0401 so we want to use kind of the same color we had in the previous one great and we want to do the same for this box shadow in the third 
block. So I'm gonna copy here these properties. This is pretty interesting. We're creating a shadow in the div, okay? Now we can use border radius. So the border radius will round the corners, okay? So basically here, border radius. We can barely see because of the blur filter, but it's pretty interesting. If I use here nine pixels, we can kind of see that it's circled. If I increase to 90, it will kind of be even more circled, okay? But in this case, we just want nine. And I think we're gonna add the border radius for the other one. So the border radius, you can set not only all to be the same, but you can set the, like the bottom right will be eight pixels and the bottom left and top right will be 10 pixels. So you can kind of set how much you want to round in each corner, okay? Here they want us eight pixels, 10 pixels. And if we take a look here, we can have this kind of difference. The last one, we want to have each size a different border radius. So it's pretty interesting that it doesn't need to be a standard. You can change the pixel for each part of your code. And if we take a look in here, we can see that they are not with the same, they are different, right? They are rounded in different ways. Great. Now we're gonna use this transform rotate. So we wanna rotate our image in the it counterclockwise by 0 0.6 degrees. So we're gonna use the transform rotate and take a look at the yellow div rotate here i just changed here my camera too so you can see we're gonna use rotate and when i do here 0 0.6 we're gonna see this rotating basically let me see if i put here 90 how it's gonna work here transform 0 0.6 so like we can see here, basically depending on the rotate, we can change in here, okay? In our case, we're using 0.6, but it's not working. We need to use the work deck, okay? And we see that now it's already a little bit uh, not <laughs> aligned anymore. Uh, let's see here, it's saying, so it's counterclockwise, so zero, minus 0 0.6, I believe this counter then in this one we want 0 0.5 degrees so here transform rotate 0 0.4 degrees and we can see now the second div a little bit to the right and the last one we want this to be clockwise counterclockwise and then we're finished so here transform rotate minus 0 0.2 degrees and we can see in here that it's we can barely see actually but this is pretty much what we have okay so this is it for our project all right if you enjoyed this content please give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you have any question you can send here on the comment and i hope to see you in the next video bye bye if you would like to have full support from programming expert via telegram group and group coaching check the description below